Um, when it, this lab, the lab that we're going to do today, so hopefully you have some type of intro on this already because you've reviewed the lab. What is the unit we use to measure length? In metrics. Meters, yes. Our unit for length is meters. What is our unit for volume? Liters, yes. So length is meters, volume. Length is meters, volume, liters. What's the other measurement that we're going to use in this lab? Mass, which is measured in grams. Yes. Okay, so those are our three units. Now, the rest of this discussion goes through how do you convert metrics. If you have meters, how do you get it to centimeters? And if you have grams, how do you get it to kilograms? So that's what I'm going to teach you. That's what the rest of this PowerPoint is, but I want to demonstrate. I'm not just going to use the slide and speak to the slide. So um, I have an acronym that I have used. Well, my teacher taught it to me in sixth grade, Mrs. Fox. She said, it's set up like this. Knives having dull blades don't cut much. And it follows this pattern here. Where K is kilo, H is hecto, D is deca, B is base, D is deci, C is centi, M is milli. At your base is where your base units go. So what, again, is my base unit for length? Meters. And my base unit for volume is? Liters. Very good. Base unit for mass? Fantastic. Okay. I'm going to show you why this tool makes me so happy uh, because it makes it easier for somebody like me who it is difficult in my head sometimes and makes it easy for me to touch it and know where or how to convert something so I'm just gonna start with a one if I have one meter it could be any of these so it doesn't matter which unit you're using but one meter where is it assumed the decimal point is in this situation? On the right of, the, if there's no decimal point present, you automatically assume it's at the end, on the right, okay? If I have one meter, and I want to convert one meter to millimeters, I have to move my decimal place, I'm here, I need to be here, I need to move it one, two, three times. So I'll have my one, my decimal points here, I need to move it three times. One, two, three. What do I put in this open space? So that one meter is equal to a thousand millimeters. I knew by this diagram I was moving to the right. Does that make sense? Because it was on this side. So I moved my decimal place this way. If I have this one meter and I want to know how many hectometers that is, I'm here. I need to move my decimal place one, two times. So I have my one here. I need to move it one time two times. What goes right here? Two. 
and I know that I moved to the left because I was going that way. This is with one. Let's say I have 200. Now let's say I have 2.36 centimeters. I'll keep using meters. It doesn't matter, again, which unit you're using, but it just makes more sense to say centimeters in this case. I have 2.36 centimeters. And the question wants to know, how many kilometers is that, or kilometers is that? I'm at centi. How many times do I need to move my decimal place? Five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm here. Move it one time, two times, three, four, five. In all of these places, I have, and this is no longer centimeters, it is now kilometers. Okay. This is a tool that I use, and whenever we take tests or quizzes, you can't have it at the beginning, but once the quiz or test starts, you can write it on your answer document to use that tool, like you're not expected to memorize it. If you want to use a different tool or you have a different way because you're already really familiar with how to convert metrics, um, of course I want you to use that. I don't want you to think, oh, you have to do whatever. That's not the case at all. Okay? The last thing that I do want to show you is how we calculate temperature in metrics. So, Here's the equation if I'm trying to find it in Fahrenheit and I only have Celsius. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to convert it. And here's the opposite. If I have Celsius, or if I want Celsius, but I only have Fahrenheit. 